Hello, it is Thursday, July 19th, 2012 at three minutes past midnight. We've got some things happening tonight that are of concern. Um, first of all, we've got two longitudinal wave signature sequences that happen. One you're going to see right there and then another one right here. And then right after that we go blank. And I'm going to step you through it here. Here it is, right here. This one's at 2215 UTC on July 18th. And actually the line continues on, but we can't see it because they got it overlaid. You can see it a little bit here. Let's zoom in, I'll show you. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it continues on through here. And it actually continues further, but it's hidden from us. But let's go on and look at the next one. Right here, this is at 1.45 on July 19th. This is UTC time. And this one also continues on. And I want to point out that this one kind of comes in the New Madrid area. Not precisely necessarily. It's kind of hard to tell, but kind of maybe more up in here. And then 2.15, nothing. And then we go blank. And I'll let it go ahead and play through. I also want to... I Speed it up just a bit here. This is really jerky in here, way more than normal. See how it's jerking around? And it's kind of held back by the Mississippi River here, river here, it looks like, too. There's almost a line that's drawn there as it rises up. See that? Then over here, see, this isn't jerky, but this is. It's like pulsing, it's pulsing. It almost looks like there's two spots right here and right here where we're getting the major pulsing. And of course, we've got this rising up over here over northern Iowa, too. Minnesota, right there. I went to AccuWeather, and we've got heart flashes going on. Kind of a sequencing again. Hard to tell what it's doing. Let's look at the snow ice radar. Not much there. When I went to the um, University of Utah, this one's really interesting. Let's see, I'm going to zoom in closer here. We'll look at right now, which is future zero zero. Well, actually, that's in the past. And you can see this um, high pressure here between South Carolina and Georgia. And this is interesting in that it just stays there. It sits there for hours. And this, you can see that we've got something happening over the New Madrid area. New Madrid's right here, actually. And this is at, um, on July 19th at 00 UTC. And then when I go forward six hours, you can see that, whoops, let's see if I can keep it to stay there and go talk about it. We get this concentric ring thing happening here right at New Madrid. You can see it right here. And then this, this stays right where it was. And then go 12 hours future. Now this is really weird. First of all, we got this still staying, not changing any. And this, I've never seen anything like that before. Let's look at it here. We've got a and I don't know what all this means. I, I keep going to this because it always seems to have information that, of things that are coming up, but I can't understand what it, what it is because it, the scale isn't named. But anyway, look how we've got this orange area, and I, you know, I, that's an extreme low. And then we've got the dark blue, which is an extreme high. It doesn't go quite all the way up, maybe into between 14 and 16. And then we've got this isotope thing going all the way around it. So it's a huge circular thing going on. Let's go forward. Let's see if I can keep them both on here. Here we go. Let's go to 18. And you can see it drops down now, but we still have the, the low and the high again. And then this is still sitting right there. 
and then 24 hours, 30 hours, and then at 30 hours, this is back again with those intense circles. I went and looked at the harp induction magnetometer, and I turned on, there's a place to turn on X, Y, and Z right below it, and this is very intense. I'm not sure what brings it about, but we've got, in addition to that, we've got this really hard spike here, and then we get the musical score effect starting in right in here, which also shows, well, it shows really well here on the BZ. You can see it starts for a period, it stops, it starts up again and stops. This one's kind of wild, actually. And then this is also not very pretty. Then I wanted to show you College of DuPage radar. It's also down, goes down about the same period. It goes down for the infrared 215 UTC was the last frame and the radar 259 UTC is the last frame. We've got a frame that flashes in but it's the last one. See here's 259. It goes gray. And then 259 flashes on again. I also went and looked at the visible satellite here. And this is also interesting is, I'm going to just kind of click through it slowly. We've got our green waves coming out again. And watch this one here. When it hits New Madrid, that's when the lights go out. And we also have, let's go back a couple. See how um, this Doppler radar, it's putting out a couple beams right in here and it's playing on this circular part right at the New Madrid area. And then when it hits New Madrid, boom, lights out. So we pray that that's not really the case. Well, let me play this through a couple times so you can watch it. And then I also have the um, visible satellite here. Well, actually infrared. It's reloading. Oh, I wanted to do the, let's do the visible one here. While that's loading, you're hearing static on my um, videos, and there's this place called simplynoise.com. I'll, I'll put a link to it. But see, it's got a little thing here we can get white noise. And it seems to help people tap people. Someone's tapping into my computer, and it seems to reduce the amount of control they have over my computer. And they also have a thunderstorm that you can download for free. I don't, I don't really know much about white noise except for it's a, all the frequencies at once and I don't know if it cancels out incoming things or I guess it does help people with their concentration and stuff and I, you know, I don't know exactly why but um, I guess because it cancels out annoying things. But anyway, let's go over and look at this last item here and slow it down a bit. And these are pretty intense, too. Oh, looks like we're getting a flash there, too, because you can see it also goes gray. Let's stop and see what happens here. I wasn't there a minute ago. Oh, we're getting... Oh, because we got a couple... All right, it goes gray. It wasn't going gray last time I saw it. 245, gray. Look how these rise up. And I don't know where that little green ring is. Maybe that's it here. Well, no, because then it would be going lights out. And it's not doing that. Maybe this. It almost looks like it breaks away here. There's a dark line and then a light line. It's 102 UTC. And then it's nighttime. So anyway, um, I wanted to bring this forth 
and pray for New Madrid. Um, I do think it's at the heart of the matter. God bless you all. Have a good rest of the night.